there was a, a, a lady with a social worker background um, who went to my uh, wife and said, look at how brilliant your daughter is. She can read, you know, a year before she's e even supposed to. And she's so smart and she's so yeah. this and she's so that she desperately needs to go to school. School is it's like and my the way I want to translate that is no. What you're actually saying is she desperately needs to go get brainwashed because she's brilliant. Yeah. And the bottom line is her brilliance is crying out for exploitation. That's what you're saying. And here's the other thing that I just want to say about that, right? If she can read this early and she's this socially uh, adept and all of the other things that go with that, if she's brilliant and all of that, wouldn't that be a reflection of the brilliant teacher that she has at home, her mother? Society as a whole is actually headed in a very strange direction, right? I mean, if you go look at... Uh, say unrest, for example, you look at uh, uh, BLM or you look at Antifa, you look at those groups and then you watch how they are censoring us who are speaking, uh, you know, shining light on the darkness, right? We're, we're talking about unrighteousness. We talk about all the things that are wrong with this world. They shut us down. What is going to be left are the people on the street that are basically the ones that are unruly, the ones that are are weird thinkers, the ones that, uh, you know, are anti-God, anti-nation, right? And uh, that's what's going to be left. All of us that uh, have a voice, that are Christians, et cetera, are going to be the ones that get put in the camps, that get put, you know, uh, sidelined and not allowed to, to really speak the truth. And that leaves you with a society that's going to be on its head, you know, uh, good for evil, evil for good, right? It's going to be completely upside down. And that's where they're taking us because the more and more they silence us and let their voice speak. And I will tell you, here's the thing. I go watch videos where guys are actually making threats against the president of the United States. And I, I look, I'm not pro Biden, but I will tell you when you see somebody doing that, you can't you go, right. This yep. is backed up. But yet you submit something like that and say, this is wrong. Those are the things that will, they'll thrive on the, on the web when other items like you and I speaking against, you know, different people that identify as different things will be the ones that get that get squashed. Right. They'll they'll shut us down. But then people that are breaking the law or doing things that are uh, violent in nature openly, that sh is, is borderline criminal activity in some cases will be green lighted, man. They won't touch them. They leave them alone. And uh, it's not because they uh, have a fear for what those people are going to do back or retaliation wise. They just, that's the world we live in, right? They're going to shut us down and they're going to let that stuff thrive. hundred percent, dude. And you are, you are so right about it. And it makes me sick because I am watching guys that are in the ministry who think that it is their God ordained role to be quiet about this stuff and to yeah. not speak about it, when in reality it is something that is overwhelming the minds and the hearts of our children. And I hear every crazy thing in the book. I, I, there was a, a lady with a social worker background um, who went to my uh, wife and said, look at how brilliant your daughter is. She can read you know, a year before she's e even supposed to, and she's so smart, and she's so yeah. this, and she's so that. She desperately needs to go to school. School is, it's like, and my the way I want to translate that is, no, what you're actually saying is she desperately needs to go get brainwashed because she's brilliant, yeah. and the bottom line is her brilliance is crying out for exploitation. That's what you're saying. And here's the other thing that I just want to say about that, right? If she can read this early and she's this socially uh, adept and all of the other things that go with that, if she's brilliant and all of that, wouldn't that be a reflection of the brilliant teacher that she has at home, her mother? That's right. My yeah. wife, I have a cousin who was homeschooled. He was in med school by the time he was 19 years old, actually 18 years old. I mean, undergrad work already done. He Most was in med school, like a little Doogie Hauser, right? Yeah. He is yeah. like 28 years old. He's been a medical doctor, an ER doctor for like five years already. Yeah. I mean, uh, come on. Yeah. And, and by the way, socially uh, well-adjusted. So mm -hmm. the ridiculous arguments that people make, it, it's just absolutely absurd. And the lies that they throw out are, mm -hmm. are just beyond my capacity to be able to able to understand like how is it that people cannot see this so clearly and the answer is it's spiritual